talk with myself, Gideon Hoekendijk. And um, uh, today we have some very special friends of mine uh, on our first episode. It's a Shane and Julie Turner. Welcome. <laughs> it's so good to see you. These are actually some of my heroes of the faith. What they're doing in the community is just, uh, just such a high level of respect uh, from me and also our church, the Harmony Church. Uh, your ministry is part of our, our ministry and we support you guys in the community. Pray for you, give money to you. So uh, first of all, personally, how are you guys doing in your bubble? honest I was going a bit nuts because um, I'm a mad cafe drinking um, shopaholic so it's very different for me but I'm okay how about you Shane? Oh, I'm really enjoying the time spent with family we've been doing uh, bike rides and yeah. walking like other people um, yes. I'm working from home on reduced hours but um, it's kind of not too different than what I'm used to with lots of video conferencing with clients um, from around New Zealand and Australia. So it uh, has been, has taken a while to get used to because of all the distractions, but otherwise it's been really good. Yeah, because what do you do, Shane? You want to quickly say what, what you do? Uh, so I work in road safety. So um, part of our job is to try and look at where the... Uh, fatal and serious crashes are occurring on the road network and work out how we can reduce the number of deaths and serious injuries. So um, it's a very rewarding job um, and uh, I really enjoy it. And I understand uh, that you also do this internationally, sometimes in America, Australia, you, you work with people around the world. That's right, yeah, I'm doing a study looking at pedestrian bicycle study in the US at the moment, a research study, and I've been doing a lot of work in in Melbourne and the Greater Victoria area, also helping them, looking at where they should be dropping their speed limits, and um, also looking at things like you know, gateway treatments into uh, towns to try and slow people down, and just improvements in terms of barriers and uh, intersection upgrades. So, oh, yes, yeah, wow. so putting a plan together for them. Very, very interesting uh, work, Shane. And of course, you're supporting your beautiful wife, who is just the evangelist. She is the the, the yeah. person who is, who is leading this beautiful ministry branch out. Uh, Julie, you want to quickly say for our viewers what branch out is all about? Um, so we're a small team of people from Harmony Church. Um, and um, we go out on a Thursday night and we give um, a home-cooked meal and um, a few cutting pizza and chips as well to about 30 to 50 people and um, we we pray for them um, tell them about Jesus um, you know John 3 16 why why they should know him and um, we do food drop-offs to their houses for an emergency and we um, give them clothing just you know basically the everyday needs we try and help them as much as we can possibly yeah, and these are these are are these uh, street people, homeless people? Oh, so sorry, these street people. So um, they are people that were originally lived on the streets. I met them on the streets. God called me to that, and but now um, the government has done a great job and got a lot of them into housing. But they're still really struggling, you know, financially to be able to afford food and you know just the everyday basic needs. Um, so we try and help them by pretty much providing the meal a week and befriending them and inviting them to church type of thing. Yeah. You've, been, you've been amazing. You guys have seen a lot of fruit uh, in, in your lives as you pray for people, people get healed, but also they got saved. And, and do you have any, any recent uh, testimonies? Um, do you mean getting with the new way we're doing it? Testimonies yeah, just, or just as somebody as life was touched uh, by God through your ministry. Is there any, any testimonies? Oh, the changes. So yes, we're now delivering to letter boxes, and we're delivering to twenty different addresses to about forty-three people within those addresses. And um, one guy, I'll call him Rod. He was so pleased with what we're doing, and in the past, before lockdown, we'd given him about two or three emergency drop-offs over a you know month period. And um, but with what we're doing now, he said that he's going to come to our church after this because. He can see the love we have for his people, you know, the streeties. And he wants to get re, re water baptized at our church um, because he said it's his like, new church. And, 
he actually brought us a couple of food vouchers and I said, no, you know, please don't. It's a pleasure to bless you. But he wants us to give them out to other yes. food costs, to $10 vouchers. Yes. So it's really nice for him. Yeah, considering he doesn't have much himself, you know. <laughs> how, how wonderful. And, and I, I hear that all those things have changed because you don't gather in one place in town like you normally do. Uh, now you are bringing it to their to the homes and that's increased, right? More need. Yeah, first, um, we've been doing it for five weeks. Is it five weeks? Five weeks. Um, the first week there was about um, eight addresses. We dropped off two. Um, I can't think exactly how many people were in those addresses, but um, this last week it's gone up to 20 addresses. So it, it's getting, getting more and more as we've gone along. So, you know, the need is, is there for the people. Yeah. So tell me about the need. How, how can we... You're just doing such a beautiful ministry. I've been there twice uh, looking and, and meeting some of the people. It's just beautiful. I mean, the hands, the hands and feet of Jesus, that's why you guys are my heroes, because it's just beautiful the way you, you love on people, the way you give your lives to people. And tell me, um, what is the need right now? Um, so we basically, um, the generous amount you give us, um, we're using that all up for 43 um people for the picnic packs and but um if people could um if they're wanting to give donate into the branch chat account more money then we can deliver to more people say for example about 60 people and also um we used to rely on the food left in the branch out basket at church but we can't access that at the moment so if people would like to um, message us and either drop to our address if they about to do that like non-perishable food or Shane suggested they could meet us at the car park at five o'clock if they let us know first so on a Thursday night when we meet to do the you know, delivery. Well, the thing is, so people can, uh, if you're part of our church, uh, you know, maybe through your giving number, you can identify branch art or even compassion fund, uh, because we will give some money to you in a minute. I'll tell you what's happened just now. Uh, but people have already been giving to the compassion fund. But if you want to, you got to uh, specify branch out hundred dollars, and that will go straight uh, to you. Uh, if you are not part of Harmony, but you still want to uh, do that and help, go on our online to our website, harmonychurchnz.nz, and and basically uh, go to the giving, and then uh, give online and specify branch out or even compassion fund. Now the good thing is people have been given giving to the compassion fund. And we can say right now, we just talked to the leadership at church that we can increase your, the giving uh, by $100 a week uh, to the ministry for the next couple of months, which is absolutely beautiful. So that will yeah. really help. Yeah, we'll help. And it's, it's been an interesting time through the, um, you know, with the change because of the lockdown. Um, and uh, in terms of us connecting with people, we thought it would be quite difficult. But Julie's, we, we're still able to talk to people because when we turn up at their houses with the food, of course, we keep two metres away. We can still have conversations. Some of them are quite lonely. Some of the people that um, we're linking with, they're by themselves. Um, we can obviously talk to them on the phone and um, they just feel really blessed by getting that food um, each week. And um, we also, of course, connect them up with other organizations like the Salvation Army and the, and the Methodist Mission yeah. um, who can give them uh, food parcels and help them through this difficult time. That's, that's wonderful. So I, I, I don't know if I said it right. I said $100 a week yeah, we're going to give. Is that what I, what I said? Yes. Yes, okay. So that's for the, for the next couple of months to see how it goes. So people, if you want to invest in the kingdom, this is a beautiful way. The people in our church, above their normal giving, uh, they give to our mission fund anyway. And that's how Branch Out is being supported. But we want to just up the giving at this particular time. And you guys are just doing such a wonderful job. And also, do I understand you also maybe need some people to help uh, physically? Um, yes, we've got, we've got George and Alan also helped. And um, Alan's volunteered to help again. So, yes, probably at the moment that's enough. Because if we get more people, we'll give them to Alan. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, if anyone wants to help, let me know. But at the moment, we currently probably got enough drivers. You've probably got enough. Okay. That's really good. Is there anything you'd like, like to say? Anything else? It's just so wonderful to talk with you and to, to hear about your mission. Um, oh, I wanted to show you what we were giving them, but 
it's basic, but it's fun. So, you know, instant noodles, a large biscuit, a muesli bar, um, spilled bread rolls, and Becky from church has been making us soup again. So pumpkin soup that they can heat up because we weren't allowed to deliver, you know, hot food on lockdown. Yes. So, um, and the people have loved it because it's just a bit of fun, a picnic meal, you know, quite different to what we usually do, all the hot food in town. Yes. But, and it's, you know, it's fun. I had to hand it over a fence and I was really worried the dog would get it because he's got a big dog. I couldn't get in contact with the people. So they sit hanging and thought, oh my gosh, the dog's going to devour it. Yeah. <laughs> but we oh, and thank God the dog didn't get it. So that was good. Oh, um, yeah. Quite exciting really. It's you know, a bit different. <laughs> the other interesting thing for me has been that actually uh, getting to know Christchurch more because all the different yeah. places that these people live you drive in parts of the city that you're not used to driving in. Yes. And just see, you know, where they live and um, it just creates more of a connection with them. You can understand, you know, the, the lifestyle they have. So some of them are, are living in quite big complexes and uh, where they don't get a lot of privacy and it must be difficult through the lockdown actually just living in a small house. We just yeah. place, like we're really fortunate here, yeah. uh, you know, having a house in a, a big yeah. section so we can be yeah, out and stroll around and, and uh, go for bike rides and things like that. Yeah. Well, you guys are missionaries of, of hope, angels of hope, and I, uh, we all want to say thank you as a church and as a Christian community. Thank you so much, and the wider community, about your service uh, in Christ Church here. We want to bless you. And can I just uh, pray for you as we end this, um, this talk? Thank you, Father. Father, thank you so much for these beautiful people. I thank you, Lord, for your provision to be able to provide food and also comfort and also encouragement to these beautiful people uh, on the streets, Lord. Father, we thank you for uh, Shane and Julie. We thank you, Lord, for Violet and Lavender, their daughters. Father, thank you that you are blessing their bubble, that you're blessing their relationship, you're protecting them in their bubble. Father, thank you for the beautiful job also that Shane is doing and in the roading area. Father, thank you also for a blessing on his life right there. And we just want to just pray right now and declare the shalom, peace of God, nothing missing, nothing broken over your lives. And we pray that this ministry will just grow to affect more and more people in Christ church, that many will be blessed and encouraged and will come into the kingdom and get saved. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, bless you guys. It's really good to, to have you on, on the show. And uh, we look forward to hearing more beautiful stories uh, of what, uh, what God will do through you. So praise God. So thank you for being part of this this, morning, this day. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our first bubble talk. And uh, I'll have more guests uh, in the next couple of episodes. It's going to be very exciting to see different people. And the vision is to see where people are living, what people are doing, where they are working, and just to be encouraged uh, to each other. So bless you. We'll see you in the next one very soon.